Hello guys and welcome to CSES problem set. We're going to be solving the permutations problem today. Click on it. It says that a permutation of integers 1 through n is called beautiful if there are no adjacent element whose difference is 1. Given n, construct a beautiful permutation if such a permutation exists. The only input line contains an integer n. Print a beautiful permutation of integers 1 through n. If there are several solutions, you may print any of them. If there are no solutions, print no solution. So what I'm going to do here is just copy this for now. All right. And here we're given an input 5 and we're output this permutation. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at that. So our value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at first, this is not really apparent how they got that number. But if you kind of look at it and play around with these numbers, you figure it out real quick. So the thing that we want to do is take all of the um, even numbers and put them in the front and take all the odd numbers and put them in the back. The reason is because you can tell that the difference between 1 right, and 3 is 2, and the difference between 3 and 5 is 2, and the difference between um, 2 and 4 right, is 2. So at any given point, you're going to have the difference 2, so which means that none of these numbers, if they're adjacent to each other, right, is going to have a difference of 1. So with that said and done, let's actually start coding this. What I'm going to do is just talk about something real quick that I missed. And um, all right. So for example, if we have uh, two here and we generate the permutations, you can see that at any given point, the difference is going to be one. And if we have, for example, three as well, then the difference is going to be one. However, if we just have one, it's just one, right? So for this case, we actually have to take care of the uh, ones case, all right? All right, so let's actually start coding this. Um, I've created a C++ project, and it's called permutations. Now well, let's go ahead and just include the preprocessor. I'm going to do is create a string. And I'm going to also create um, uh, this thing and uh, unsigned long. All right, so we can do everything in main like always. So what I'm going to do here is create um, a variable to take our input, and then I'm going to create a string to hold our um, our odd numbers. Okay. So you need to check to see if um, the value that we're taking is actually one, and if it, if it's one, then we just go ahead and print n, go c in, and n. So we'll say that if uh, n is equal equal to one, then what we want to do is just print out n and return zero. Next thing is if um, n is greater than one and n is less than or equal to three, then we're gonna have no solution for this. So I do that and V no solution. So 
We know that if it's greater than one, if the number is two and it's less than three, there's no solution for this. And if it's n, then we just go ahead and print out n. All right, so it's just gonna print out one. Now, what we need to do is, if all of this passes, we need to actually go ahead and work out the actual permutation. So we're gonna say that um, for the for loop, this is for ul m is gonna be equal to one and uh, m is less than or equal to n do plus plus m. All right, so we're gonna say that if, and we're gonna say if uh, m and one, so if the number is actually, if the number is even, then what we want to do is just print out that number. Let's say M and we need to add a space. So if you guys actually look on the website, when they print out the output, the output actually has spaces in there. So before I'd actually come up with a cool algorithm to actually just compute the number altogether. And then I realized that there were actually spaces in the solution. So I had to um, redo it. Anyway. All right. And then if it's uh, not odd, not even, it's odd. So we're going to say else. And what we're going to do is say O plus equal to, and then we're going to use a two string. So we actually need to add in the here and do include and let's add in the string okay. so it's two string and then what we're going to do is take an m here and we're going to concat this with space and once we're done all we need to do is just print out o and we're good to go so I'm gonna go ahead here and save this. And what I want to do is try this on an input. So let's go ahead and run this. And let's put N5. And we get 24135, which works out for this case. All right. So the four can come in the front or the two can come in the front. It just says as long as it's a possible permutation, that's fine. So now that we have this, let me go ahead and save this on my desktop like always. So I can easily access it. I'm gonna copy and paste. Now let's go back into the website. Go to uh, Submit, pick the file that we want, permutation. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we do this, let's go ahead and add in the normal stuff. We're gonna do uh, to speed this up, tie, zero, I'll see you out. Have this let me go back and resave that and then I'm gonna replace that on my desktop all right now let's submit so go there and pick the file Open. okay oh you edit that and let's run it All right, as you see, all of our solutions are, are uh, good and we're good to go. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.